First up are the original incandescent bulbs that came from the factory. These are a five watt bulb and you can see uh, how bright the instruments are. This is full brightness and if I tip it up like this you can see the amount of light coming up through the light tunnels and reflecting back on the face of these instruments. Now I know it's kind of hard to get an accurate color saturation here in the shop but I'm not going to change the camera exposure and now I'm going to install fifth generation warm white bulbs. These are our warm white LED bulbs and uh, you may not notice a huge difference here but watch when I tip back and you can see the amount of light and the broadness of the light coming through those light tunnels compared to the incandescent bulbs. The difference is going to really stand out when it's totally dark. So you're not going to see a huge difference in the shop here, but you are going to see a difference in color as I move through the other colors. The next one I'm going to install is the bright white bulb. This is the bright white bulb. You can see the difference. It's much wider, has a very minor blue cast to it, typical of household lights when you get a bright white one. And if I tip it up, I think you're going to see the difference in the cast from the light tunnels. It's much whiter. It's not such a yellowish color. And so these are preferred by a number of people. Everybody has their own choice. But keep this in mind. This is the bright white bulb. Next up is the orange. If you compare this one to the first two I showed you, you're going to say, yeah, Kent, that's orange. <laughs> well, these are the orange LEDs that we have. Now I'm going to tip it up so you can see the light beam coming through the tunnel and you can definitely see the difference in color there. And some people have reported back they really like this orange color. It's a personal preference. At least you have choices. Well, this is obviously red. Being a pilot, I'm very familiar with this color on instrument panels. And of course, the old idea here is it's going to help save your night vision, which is great in an aircraft. But driving in today's environment with these super bright headlights glaring at you, I don't think you need to worry about saving your night vision, unless, of course, you're driving in some remote area of Montana. But you may like the overall color of this red. It's very pleasing, very soothing. You can see the red color coming through those light tunnels. It's kind of muted. It's definitely a muted color. I even had a hard time focusing the camera because this is just not as bright as the other three colors. But who knows, a lot of people may really like this red bulb. I hope that comparison helps you decide which bulb you would prefer. You maybe want to try all of them, okay? But that was a comparison in the W126 cluster. It's even more dramatic in the W123 cluster due to the length of the light tunnels. So what I want to do in the next video is pull out a problem W123 cluster, go through some of the problems, and if I get a chance, I'll show you a comparison in that cluster as well. There's a couple things I really like about these new bulbs. It's the fifth generation because they've gone through an evolution over the past, you know, what, five years or so. But these are non-polarity, meaning that you can plug them in either way. The old ones had a polarity. You'd get up here and plug them in, and then they wouldn't work. You'd wiggle them, and you're not sure whether they weren't making contact. You'd have to pull them out, turn them 180 degrees, plug them back in. You do not have to do that with these bulbs. The other thing is these bulbs they have a heat sink that keeps the heat away from the tip. So that really helps to preserve your plastic light tunnels, which is a real problem with the incandescent bulbs. There you have it. There are your choices. Somebody said today, well, Kent, why don't you try purple? Who knows, maybe we'll come up with a fifth color. Let's take a look at the difference one more time. Here's warm white. Here's bright white. Here's orange. And here's red. 